Hi, this is uh, KJ Murphy with Comic Art Therapy Guy. I thought we'd do something kind of cool that I hadn't done before. I was uh, surfing around and found, uh, I came across a bunch of records that were donated to me, records like this, uh, a lot of classical music and things that I don't really, I saved as much as I could, but there's a few that are moldy and needed uh, just to go. So I found uh, an acrylic pouring technique, or they call it a dirty pour. Uh, this was my first attempt. Uh, you can sort of see I uh, used some old paint and I used the wrong medium. Um, but here it is, um, second attempt. Uh, the desired effect is a uh, flip cup technique, which I'm going to demonstrate um, to get all these kind of nice cells going on here. So this was uh, four colors, white, purple, uh, a dark blue, and a green. So. Um, what we have here is a record like uh, like this one to prep. I mean, a lot of people just so the you know prime them. I'm just literally going right on the vinyl, um, little duct tape, uh, painters tape. You know, you get any hardware store here. Uh, I just do both sides so the paint doesn't really go through. Um, so I have a bigger cup here. I did use a little bit of, um, before I get into that actually, uh, to explain the paint, this isn't straight paint, it has a pouring medium in it, which uh, the pouring medium I'm using is this uh, Flood uh, Floaterol, uh, but you can get it at a hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. And I mix that in with the paint and some water to sort of get this consistency. Uh, I'm going to be using five colors today. And we're going to just see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just start pouring the, the colors in. They say, you know, if you want more cells, you should pour high. So I'm trying to do that. I have no idea how this is going to come out. The only thing is I did pick warmer colors. Uh, the last one I did I used uh, cooler colors. So this one is going to be warmer for sure because I'm using reds and yellows and browns. Uh, this is a little bit new, more neutral. And then I, I'm just throwing a black in here to see what that'll do today. Which looks like it should have been mixed a little bit more. A lot of paint there. Okay. So basically, um, they suggest you kind of cut it a little bit, so you just sort of swirl it around a little bit like that. Um, you do one of these where it's upside down and you flip it like that. And then some, I see some people kind of doing this kind of thing, but essentially you're uh, letting it all come out. So you can sort of see now it's already kind of happening. The cells are building. Um, I do want to cover the record, so I want to be careful and watch what's going on. Um, you know, there's a lot of cells over here. I want to keep some of those. It's kind of a cool thing going on over here. Um, but at some point, I, you know, I have to have it kind of go off the record, which is fine. I like that yellow and sort of that veiny thing going on there. Um, it's sort of doing it on its own. You can sort of see it's starting to cover the, the vinyl. It is going to drip off, which is okay. Can't keep all the paint on there. Um, but it's, you know, it's coming along. When this is dry, which usually it takes a good amount of time, um, you can varnish it because it'll dry very matte. I'm going to put some cups under it just to kind of support it. Need a couple more, huh? There we go. So you got something like that. Um, so you know, obviously, you can sort of see a lot of cells here, bigger cells, some littler cells in there. That is what you want. I kind of like this nice thing going on over here, so I'm happy with it. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Um, 
Again, you know, uh, afterwards you can uh, poke a hole through it if you want to hang it. Uh, I think you can just hot glue uh, a hanger behind it. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with them. I'm hoping to do like one every now and again. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, uh, post anything you like. If you like the video, please like it. And uh, I'm hoping to do more of these videos in the future. And that is acrylic pouring, the dirty pour, the flip cup. Um, it's not really hard. You just, you know, got to practice and find the right consistency with the paint. And uh, you can use heat at the end if you want to use heat to uh, bring out even more of these cells. I'm not going to do that. Um, like a creme brulee kind of little hand torch, but uh, I've been finding success without it. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day and be well.